So hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar on cost savings, value and visibility wins with a move to next week. Today we'll be focusing on the thing that is on everyone's mind at the moment with inflation and uncertainty on the rise. That thing being costs and how this is the perfect time to move to NetSuite with the cost savings, value and visibility that will provide to your business. Now we've got this, this session scheduled for 45 minutes today and um, shouldn't anticipate that it would take all that time. Um, but there'll be plenty of time at the end for questions and answers. So to run through the agenda for today, we'll start by looking at some of the key results that you can achieve uh, by moving to NetSuite in terms of the cost savings value and visibility that NetSuite provides. We'll then take a step back and look at ourselves, Eureka Solutions, as a solution provider of NetSuite, as well as a brief overview of NetSuite itself. We'll then go into a feature spotlight where we will highlight some of the features um, that bring about these cost savings, value and visibility within NetSuite. We'll then jump into a demo account and provide a, a high level demonstration of NetSuite. We'll then finish off with an overview of the value chain assessment, uh, which is a tool that allows us to evaluate the return on investment that NetSuite can provide using your actual estimates of current spend on IT and the time savings that NetSuite can bring. We'll also have plenty of time at the end of the session for questions and answers. Uh, the question um, tab should be open just now, so if anyone's got any questions throughout the session, they can pop them in there and we will address them towards the end of the session. Now, before we get started, um, obviously being a morning session today, you know, I've actually got some questions for you just to get you thinking about your current systems and your current operations at the moment. Now, once again, these are supposed to be rhetorical questions, but the Q&A chat box is open. So if anyone does want to answer these questions, then please be my guest. So to begin with, how long is spent on your month-end process and how many people are currently involved in that month-end process? How much of your team's time is spent on manual tasks like data manipulation for reporting outside of systems in Excel? And how much time is wasted chasing approvals over email? Now, beyond that, do you truly know the profitability of all areas of your business? And if you do, would you still benefit from better visibility and quicker access to this information to aid in informed decision making? Do you want your team to spend more time adding value than completing manual tasks? And do you want to continue growth without growing your headcount in line with this? Now, what do all of these questions have in common? Now, these are all questions that we feel you should be asking yourself about your current systems, and you should be asking us about how NetSuite can save costs, add value, and increase visibility by addressing these issues and areas within your business. Now, in response to these questions, um, we'd first like to direct you to some uh, research which was, was performed by SL Associates. Now, SL Associates performed research on NetSuite customers and looked to quantify the results of moving to NetSuite. So you can see here there's key wins across the board, uh, across various different areas um, of your business. Um, obviously, notably at the top there, there's a 50 to 80% increase in visibility and the actionable insight that goes along with this visibility. Now, this is something that when we get into the demonstration, you'll be able to see yourself with the visibility that NetSuite brings. Now, beyond that, you'll also see that key wins were identified in terms of the amount of time that's taken, both in the AR side of things, as well as the time to close financial books. And you'll see that the end result was an increase in performance and um, margin, as well as a reduction in uh, day sales, uh, sales outstanding, and overall a 30 to 50% increase in accounting staff productivity, meaning that you can support your business's growth without increasing the headcount of your team. Now, in terms of these results, these are results that we have seen ourselves with our own customers. Now, just to, to get things started in terms of our customers, we've got a spotlight on one of our customers, Connect Managed Services. Now, Connect came to us um, with the following challenges. They were operating on a legacy system 
um, struggling with disparate data and having a lot of manual time spent on reporting in Excel. Now, these may or may not be areas that you are also currently experiencing challenges in. It's certainly something that we see across the board with those that are considering a move to NetSuite. In terms of the solution that we provided for Connect, we provided NetSuite One World, um, which is the consolidation of all group companies within one unified database, providing global unified financial reporting and access to real-time data. So given that visibility across the business that Connect did not previously have and reducing the amount of manual time spent on um, accessing that data. In terms of the results, uh, there are some amazing results for Connect uh, speak for themselves. Over two years following the NetSuite ERP implementation, Connect grew by 146%. Now they managed to do this without increasing headcount in the finance team. I believe one of the members actually moved on to a different position. Um, so they actually managed to cope with a reduced uh, number of uh, members of the finance team whilst also maintaining that high growth across those two years following the implementation. Now, going back to the questions uh, that we started off the session with, would your uh, current systems be able to support this type of growth? And is it the correct time to move to NetSuite to allow you to, to grow your business whilst not having to grow your headcount in your team? Now, of course, Connect are just one of the many customers that we have implemented NetSuite for. We've actually recently celebrated our 100th end-to-end -end project uh, in NetSuite implementation. Now you see on the screen just now, we've got just, just a, a sample of the different customers and a, a variety of different industries there that we have implemented NetSuite for. Uh, you'll see here that there's a wide variety uh, from um, gaming to life sciences to not-for-profit organizations to entertainment venues. We have implemented NetSuite for all of these types of companies. Now, just to highlight a couple of the logos on the screen here just now, and um, we'll start off with the, the first one there, which is Endreams. Now, Endreams provide cutting edge VR games, uh, create cutting edge VR games. And we helped bring visibility across the different departments, studios and titles, allowing that um, full analysis of those figures with a move to NetSuite. You also see on the screen here, uh, Flight Club Darts, um, you may be aware of them already. They provide electronic darts entertainment venues. And once again, we provided visibility um, of their venues globally. Now, I won't spend too long going through each and every one of these customers, but just to flag up one final one, you also see on the bottom left of the screen there, we have got Motor Fuel Group, MFG. Now, we, we, we like to flag this up just to show the scalability of NetSuite. Uh, MFG are the UK's largest independent four-core operator with over 900 sites across the UK, and they have been recognised as the eighth biggest private company in the UK. Uh, so NetSuite is a truly scalable system, and it is the last ERP that you will purchase. Now, just taking a step back and adding some context on who we are and why you should speak to us about NetSuite. Eureka Solutions were founded in 1996 on two core principles, those being technical expertise and customer service, two areas that we still hold close today. You see here that we've grown from a staff of three in 2004 to over 70 today, with the majority of those in technical roles. We also keep that focus on customer service by having um, live reviews posted on our website using an independent uh, customer share system. Now we average a, a rating of 9.7 out of 10 in terms of customer satisfaction. And we would welcome you to visit our website to see for yourself the reviews that our customers leave in terms of support. Now, what do we do? Um, we provide implementation, development and support for NetSuite, um, which you're all here to see today, as well as Sage 200 and our own integration application, vSyncly. So if there are any third party systems that you would be looking to connect with NetSuite, then we can do that in-house with our vSyncly product development team. In terms of our NetSuite credentials, um, we have been a NetSuite solution provider for 10 years now, um, recently celebrated our 10 year anniversary, anniversary last month. 
We started off as we wish to continue with the EMEA New Partner of the Year, and since then it's been constant growth and success with NetSuite. As mentioned, we have recently celebrated our 100th end-to-end NetSuite project, and last year we got recognition as a NetSuite five-star partner, which is the highest level um, of NetSuite partners, and we also got recognition as NetSuite UK best performing partner last year as well. So just to give a, a quick formal introduction to NetSuite, uh, NetSuite is the world's number one cloud ERP system. It was founded in 1998 and acquired by Oracle in 2016. And since 1998, it has been a true 100% cloud business management system. So it's not been a previously on-prem system, which has been moved to the cloud. It was born in the cloud and remains there today. Now, being a, a cloud-based system and being accessible through a browser, there's no application that has to be downloaded onto the user's um, laptop or computer, and there's no server um, costs associated with NetSuite. So that's something in terms of cost savings to highlight. NetSuite is one database for multi-company financials, ERP, and CRM. So it's a suite-based system um, where you can have all of your data in one place. Once again, saving time and money in terms of the consolidation of this data from disparate systems. That data is all in one place and you have full access to that within NetSuite. You can access NetSuite from any device at any time, anywhere. Once again, reducing the requirements for servers and the costs associated with the setup and maintenance of them. Now being acquired by Oracle in 2016, the high class security and privacy has only increased since then. So once again, there's a reduction in terms of the money spent on securing your data as that is all taken care of by Oracle NetSuite. NetSuite also has an availability commitment of 99.7%, which is written into the agreement. Now in reality, the availability commitment um, is often uh, superseded. So at the minute, um, NetSuite averages 99.99% in terms of availability within the past uh, year. NetSuite also automatically upgrades every six months. So every user of the system benefit, benefits from two upgrades a year. Now, what this means is that you can avoid version lock and costs associated with upgrades. NetSuite will automatically upgrade twice a year, meaning that you benefit from new areas and functionalities within the system without having to spend money on upgrades. Now, all of these um, benefits combined have resulted in over 32,000 uh, customers worldwide using NetSuite. So it is highly adopted across the world. So as mentioned, NetSuite is one unified database. You see here that everything is on the Suite Cloud platform. You've got all of your subsidiaries as part of your group structure uh, across various countries, if that's a requirement, as well as having multi-language and multi-currency functionality as well. You'll see as well that it combines various areas which would often be held in disparate data systems. So you'll see just now ERP, financials, sweet people, which is the HR module, CRM, e-commerce, and so on, is all part of one unified database, reducing the time and money spent on pulling together figures from various data sources. So in terms of how NetSuite actually saves costs, adds value and increases visibility, we want to have a bit of a feature spotlight here. Now, of course, there's various different areas of the system that can aid in these um, savings and increased value and visibility. But just to highlight a couple before we get into the demonstration, we've got the real-time visibility of dashboards and KPIs, which you'll see during the demonstration. This means that you can uh, make more informed decision-making in less time. Obviously, time is money. So the less time taken um, to get access to this information means that more informed decision-making can take place. Beyond that, there's also full drill down of reports. So going back to the visibility, NetSuite allows drill down all the way into the transactional level of detail. So you can analyze exactly what is making up your key financial figures. There's also built in approval workflows. So going back to the question on how much time is currently spent 
uh, manually chasing approvals over email. These approvals are brought into the system, uh, meaning that there's less time spent chasing these. Also, the automation of key processes. Now, NetSuite automates processes across your entire business. Now, once again, this means that growth can be fueled without a growth of headcount, saving costs in these areas. There's also various options in terms of AP automation. So supplier invoices can uh, obviously take a lot of time in terms of entering them into a system. There's various different suite apps, which are third party extensions of the system, which provide scanning capture and OCR solutions to reduce the amount of time that's taken in terms of AP. There's also features such as expense allocation and prepayment journals. Now this reduces the amount of time that's spent splitting expenses across different departments and areas of the business, as well as splitting prepayments across um, the period, whether that be a year, as an example there. There's also automated intercompany elimination and consolidation. So if you are operating a group of companies with different legal entities within that group, all of those will be within the one unified database with various different functionality there to allow the automation of eliminating intercompany transactions and rolling up to the group level for consolidation. There's also the option of the NetSuite planning and budgeting application, which is an extension of the system to provide a further and uh, further detail in terms of planning and budgeting, including what if scenarios and so on. So really allowing you to expand your visibility of your business. So without further ado, we'll jump into the demonstration that we've got set up for today. So I will just move on to the Google Chrome browser here. So you see here NetSuite is truly cloud-based, so it can be accessed anywhere at any time on any supported device. Um, as mentioned, we are on a Google Chrome browser here to access NetSuite. Now just log into the demo account that we've got set up for today's session. Now this demo account is an example of a financial first suite success edition of NetSuite, which focuses on bringing as much out of the box functionality as possible whilst um, benefiting from the leading practices um, that NetSuite provides based on the experience with the over 32,000 customers that are currently using the system. Now just bear with me there whilst I continue trying to talk whilst entering in the username and password, but we've now logged into our NetSuite demo account today. Now you see here straight away, as soon as we are logged into the system, you can see all of the visibility and detail in terms of the actionable insights that we get when we log into the system. Before we get into the detail here on our home dashboard, just to flag up, you'll see here in the top right hand corner, we're currently logged in as a CFO. Now all of these roles here come out of the box and they can be used and tweaked in terms of the permissions and restrictions um, of which users would need access to the system. Now, coming back to the home dashboard itself, you'll see here that we've got a global search. So this allows us to search for any records or transactions in the system, whether that be looking for certain customers, suppliers, invoices, journals, and so on. We can access that using the global search. Now, beyond that, we've also got a traditional menu structure where we can get a breakdown to these different modular um, areas of the system. Now with the home dashboard itself, these home dashboards come out of the box with the different roles within NetSuite, but can of course be changed and customized based on the user's preference. So you see, for example, we can move these different sections around the screen, making sure that we've got the visibility of the information that we need in the format that we want. Now coming into these individual sections, you'll see here on the left-hand side, we have got our reminders uh, section. Now, as soon as we log into NetSuite, we can see all of the different actions that we need to take place as Andy Morgan, our CFO in this case. You'll see here that we've got reminders of different approvals that we have got that have routed to us. We've got our purchase orders, expense claims, and journals there. Once again, saving time in terms of manually chasing approvals over email. Now, these reminders, of course, can be set up by the user. You can add and remove reminders from here using drag and drop functionality. 
Now coming to the KPIs here, you see that we've got full visibility across all of our key financial figures for our business. And once again, these figures are drillable, which I'll come back to shortly. So if we did want to interrogate any of these figures, we can quickly and easily drill into these and see exactly what's making these up. On the right hand side, you'll see some examples of KPI meters. So just visualization of the data here, making sure that we've got that in a nice visual format and we can make informed decision making from there. Scrolling down, you'll see we've got our navigation shortcut group and our tiles. So just quickly and easily accessing different areas of NetSuite. But whether you do that through the global search, the traditional menu structure, the reminders, the shortcut groups, or the tiles, you'll get to where you need to be in NetSuite. And say, for example, you didn't want this on your home dashboard, you can simply and easily remove that and really make your home dashboard your own space. Now you see here that we have got our subsidiary navigator. As mentioned, NetSuite provides one unified database for all of the companies within your group structure. So in this case, we've got a group holding company as well as a Netherlands and a UK subsidiary. Now at this moment in time, we're looking at the full um, group holding company here, but you'll see using this subsidiary navigator that we can filter down just to the individual entities. So by clicking on the Netherlands there, you'll see that the figures update. We're now looking at the Netherlands base currency of euros and all the figures that are relative to this entity. Now the same of course applies for our UK trading company here. We can filter down all of our figures on our home dashboard to make sure we've got the visibility of the entities within our group structure. I won't spend too much time on the rest of the home dashboard here, but just to show you in terms of the different visibility trend graphs that can be added to your home dashboard. Um, of course, these can be edited. You can set up different KPIs. You can set up the ways that these are visualized to make sure that you can make informed decision making. Now, the same applies for the financial scorecard here at the bottom, um, given visibility across financial figures in the business. We can quickly and easily create trend graphs, which can be exported out of the system. And we can also drill in further to these figures. Now, coming back up to the top of our home dashboard, as mentioned, these figures that make up our KPIs are all pulled from different reports that are in the system. And of course, if we want to interrogate these further, we can quickly and easily drill into these. So in terms of visibility and keeping a track on costs, say for example, our expenses here, you'll see as soon as we log into the system that this has increased by 5.3% from the previous period here. So looking at this period compared to last period. Now using NetSuite browser functionality, we can open this in a new tab so we can continue to work away on our home dashboard whilst opening up our p &L here to get the detail as to what makes up these figures. Now in terms of drilling into our expenses, you see here that we've got our different figures so we can view these and, and look for any trends. We can also have that full drill down functionality, drilling down into exactly what makes up these figures. And if that isn't far enough, we can also open up the transactional level of detail as well. Now, I'm not sure if anyone's been counting the number of clicks from the home dashboard, but that's got us to that transactional level of detail and about four clicks from our home dashboard, allowing us to interrogate these figures in the detail that we need to make informed decisions in our business. Now, coming back to the PL itself, you'll see that the PL and the chart of accounts is relatively streamlined. Now, it's NetSuite's leading practice to keep the chart of accounts streamlined where possible and use classifications which are tagged on transactions to be able to slice and dice that data to make sure that you've got the insight in terms of all of the areas of your business. Now, if we come down here to the period and roll this back to the previous fiscal year to make sure we've got a large um, source of data. You'll see here that in our column tab, we can start to use these classifications to slice and dice. So say, for example, we want to get a breakdown of our different departments so that we can keep an eye on the costs of our departments and how they look. You'll see here we can use that as a filter and we've now got a full P&L for the different departments within our business. Now, of course, depending on your business, these departments would change. And of course, they would be set up as part of the initial implementation to make sure that you had the visibility across your business that you need. 
Now coming to our revenue stream classification, once again, this allows us to make informed decisions based on the different areas of our business in terms of revenue streams. So you see here, we have got our hardware, our services and software, with our services and software being broken down into different levels. Now, once again, all of these figures are drillable. So if we wanted to get some further information on what made up these figures, then we could drill down and get that insight into the profitability of the areas of our business. Now, if we take the example of our enterprise software here, you see that we are generating a high number of revenue here. But if we scroll, scroll down and see our full p and we'll see that we are actually making a net loss on this area of the business. So really showing how NetSuite can give that visibility in terms of the different areas and allow you to make informed decisions, which of course will benefit in terms of costs and the value that is added to your business. Now, beyond the breakdown that we've shown here just now, you see that we also have the option of location in this demo account, but there are an unlimited number of custom segments that can be set up within NetSuite to slice and dice your data. So no matter what you need to report across, we can set that up in the system and provide you with that visibility of the key areas of your business that you need to see. Now, as mentioned, NetSuite is one unified database for different entities within your group structure. So if we filter here by subsidiary, you'll see that we've got a breakdown of the different entities here. So quickly and easily have been able to compare our Netherlands with our UK trading company in this demo account so that we can compare and contrast the performance of these two areas and compare the full p &L across these two entities without having to take that out of the system and manually manipulating that data. So just to come back to the home dashboard, um, there are various different reports that come out of the box. Now you see here, we can access all of the different reports that we've got in this demo account from here. So say for example, um, we are looking for different financial reports. You can come in here, you'll see that we've got our PL, comparative PL balance sheet and so on. Now all of these come out of the box and provide that actionable insight into different areas of the business that you need for informed decision making. So that's it in terms of the demonstration for today. As mentioned, trying to keep it fairly high level. Um, obviously, if there's anything that you want to see further in terms of the features that we highlighted that can save time and money, then please feel free to get in touch and we can provide a more tailored demonstration on the areas of the system that you want to see. Now, as well as being able to provide tailored demonstrations, an exercise that we can also do for your business, as a value chain assessment. Now, a value chain assessment is a tool that allows us to quantify the business impact of moving to NetSuite using your estimates in terms of your current IT spend, your amount of time spent on manual tasks, and so on, and comparing this to the benefits that NetSuite can bring. So it allows us to justify a business case um, for your business by articulating the value relative to the total cost of ownership of NetSuite. Now beyond that, we can also measure how our ROI can be provided through the simplification of your IT portfolio by focusing on strategic decision-making, driving leading practices that come out of the box with NetSuite, as well as aligning your strategy with your IT systems and making those informed decisions. So that's it for today's session. That's been a high-level overview of how NetSuite can save time, um, save costs, add value, and provide visibility um, to your business. Now, I welcome any questions on anything that you have seen during this session. But once again, if you want to ask um, some maybe more in-depth questions about how NetSuite can provide this for your business, then please feel free to reach out following the session, and we'd be more than happy to set up a call to discuss further. Okay, so we have got a question there just now um, in terms of what types of technology do you have available to link to NetSuite, i.e. Canvina and Power BI tools? So with NetSuite, there's various different options in terms of business intelligence and linking to different technologies and different systems. 
Uh, we ourselves have our vSyncly integration tool, which allows uh, us to integrate NetSuite to other third-party systems. In terms of looking specifically at Power BI and different BI tools external to NetSuite, there are various different third-party connectors available, which we would be happy to provide further details on if that is something that you would be reviewing alongside a move to NetSuite. So please feel free to get in touch and we would be more than happy to share result resources on different options there. So there's a question here asking, uh, can you give some more details on setting up approval flows? Yeah, of course. So within NetSuite, there are various different options in terms of approval flows in the system. So this can either be simple approval flows, or so if you're looking for a hierarchical approval of different transactions, then that can be set up in NetSuite. Beyond that, we can look into departmental approval flows or however way you want to um, set up approvals that can be done in the system using workflows. Now, approvals can be uh, across transactions. So say, for example, you want um, approvals for your purchase orders, then that can be set up in NetSuite. Or if you want basic approvals for journal entries, if you've got a big finance team, or for supplier invoices and so on. These can all be defined by you and configured in the system to make sure that the approvals are going through the correct route. Now, beyond that, there is also a full system audit trail of approvals in the system. So you can see exactly who approved these transactions and when that approval took place. Now, when somebody has, uh, is required to approve a certain transaction, they will be notified by email as well as having visibility in their reminders tab within NetSuite. So once again, that full visibility of different actions that you need to take. Perfect, so no more questions for just now. Um, I will be around for a couple more minutes if there are any other questions that you are looking to ask. But once again, thanks a lot everyone for joining this morning's webinar. And please feel free to reach out if you have any more in-depth questions about how next week would be suitable for your business.